Let's say that you and another person is speaking about an issue. And you are trying to get your point across, then that person may even cut you off to try to get their point across. So you begin to cut that person off, that person continues to cut you off. Then what happens, you all get into an argument. Then perhaps, you both begin to insult each other. <laughs> then it may even result into a physical fight. Or someone may cut your tires or break your windows or something like that. Now, what could you have done to not have that situation escalate what could you have done you could have just not said anything back to that person just listen to that person listen what is the point in trying to get your point across when they are not interested in hearing you I pray that this makes sense. There are certain people that I may talk to and if they cut me off in some cases or if I see that they are not trying to listen to what I am trying to say, why am I going to waste my time? Let me just listen to what that person is saying even when I disagree even when they know that they are wrong, let me just listen to that person so there won't be any arguments and there is going to be peace. Just because you are right does not give you the right to try to get your point across. I pray that makes sense. Just because the other person is wrong does not mean that you have the right or you need to like hey i need to tell this person that they are wrong <laughs> in many cases people already know that they are wrong it is just that they have so much pride even when you show people the evidence hey the word of god says this and this and this and that some people are so prideful that they will make excuses or try to twist around the Bible to fit what they are saying. When you are coming against pride, logic means nothing. Right and wrong means nothing to that person. Because usually when you meet a prideful person, that person does not want to admit to what they are doing when they are doing wrong. They don't want to apologize. Me, I can apologize easily. If you can show me where I am wrong, hey, I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry and um, please tell me if I am wrong because I don't want to continue on the wrong path then get cursed by God over and over and over again when a person can come up and tell me hey Kevin you are wrong show me where I am wrong and I am going to say hey I am sorry God please forgive me of my sins so on and so on because I don't want to get cursed. I don't want pride inside of me. I pray that this makes sense. But when you are coming against, give me a second, please. When you are coming against people with pride, 
it is best to back down. Even if you are right, even if you can prove yourself and give sources of information about how right you are, if you find that a person is not trying to listen to you or continue to cut you off, not listening to what you are saying, stop. Stop right there. Just listen to that crazy stuff that person is saying and go your way. Like I said, many times people know, these prideful people know that they are wrong. They do know it. It is just that wickedness within them, whether they have been hurt back when they was a kid or they got bullied or whatever else. For whatever reason, they have pride. When a person have pride, they don't want to admit that they are wrong. So just, you know, like, hey, if they say something, okay, all right, okay, all right, you don't have to say anything back. You don't have to prove your point. I pray that this makes sense. Like, what is the whole importance of needing to prove your point? I am not saying that you have to have that person in your personal space, like have them over your home and visit you every day. No, I am not saying that. But when you come in conflict with a person, there is no point in trying to prove your point. Like, what is that, that need to want to prove your point? What is that? We need to get to the point where we do whatever it takes to keep the peace. I'm serious. Now, with some people, you may be able to speak to them and show them what the Bible says and blah, blah, blah. With other people, sometimes you just have to let them speak. Even when they are totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. Like you are sitting there and listening to what they are saying. And I am like, what? <laughs> Some people have self-esteem esteem issues. Where anything that sounds bad, they are, anything that sounds bad about them, they are going to get really mad. Like they are going to explode. Like, you can't even say, like, a tiny bit of anything that they are doing wrong or saying wrong or doing wrong. But, on the other hand, they can point out everything that you are saying that is wrong, everything that you are doing that is wrong, everything that everyone else in this whole world is doing wrong. But when you come to them, if you point out one small thing <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on, you know? <laughs> Pride. Self-esteem issues. That is something that it is going to take the power of God to change in those people. I'm serious. People with pride, there is not much that you can say to people like that. So I pray that this makes sense. You being right does not give you the right to prove yourself or prove your point to people. Because this person here believes they are right 
this person here believes they are right. So this person believes this person is right. This person right here believes that they are right. So both people are just blah, 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 you know, getting into unnecessary conflict. And then what happens off of something stupid, something really bad happens. Off of a dumb argument, something really terrible happens from it. Back down. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.